Hey guys, Chief Drobridge here is here once again. And guess what? We have another edition of Stupid Crap on Facebook. In this case, Stupid People on Facebook. Now, okay, so I was on Facebook today. You know, after I got out of my class at college, I was on Facebook. And, um, I was scrolling through, and usually there's nothing good on Facebook. You know, Facebook's pretty boring, honestly. But I come across this, um, uh, this post that says, like, it's one of those posts that says if you're a 90s baby or something, then this or this or this. It's kind of dumb, but anyways, it said if you're a 90s baby, um, and you haven't had a kid yet, then like or comment, share. I, I, I don't really remember. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, out of curiosity, like mild curiosity, I mean, I didn't really have anything else to do. I just looked at the comments, and immediately, I came upon a comment that was just so idiotic, so completely stupid in my opinion that I just had to make a video about it. This comment has gotten over 500 likes and I have no idea why and people actually agree with this person. So I wrote down what they what their comment was like word for word exactly what they said verbatim. So I am going to read this off and you people you guys can tell me what you think in the comments or whatever if you watch this video. There's nothing to be ashamed of. It's never a crime to have a baby even if you're born in 2000s. So, you're encouraging people, girls that are 16 and under, to get pregnant? You can have a baby and still achieve your dreams, uh, more likely, more often than not, no, not really. It's gone, it's gone be a wonderful story to tell later in the future. Am 90s and have no baby, though. If my younger sis get pregnant today, I'd be encouraging, supportive, morally, and financially. It's one of those life dramas, you know? Okay, well, first of all, no, it's not one of those life dramas usually because typically teenagers are not trying to go out and get pregnant. So, no, it's not just one of those typical life dramas, you know? Alright, so I don't even know where to start. First of all, this person, I mean, if I'm, if I'm understanding this right, you know, and tell me if I'm not, but if I'm understanding this right, this person is basically saying it's okay to have a baby, and for 2000s, babies too, or whatever. 2000s, so you're basically saying, because the oldest a 2000s baby can be at this point is 16, so you're saying that a, a teenager, a teenage girl, or a teenagers, whatever, 16 and under, it's okay for them to have a baby. Why? It's usually discouraged for teenage pregnancy to happen. Because more often than not, if a teenager gets pregnant, if a teenage girl gets pregnant, then usually that's a pretty, that's a, it's a mistake. I mean, usually that's a pretty messed up choice. Because then she has to make, she has to change her life drastically to take care of this kid that she has had. Unless, of course, you know, the, the, they opt for adoption, which is a very hard choice to make, I understand that. Or if they choose to get an abortion, that's a whole other can of worms. Um, but yeah, I don't understand. Like, they're saying it's okay for people who are born in the 2000s to have a baby. So, let's say a person born in 2002. They'd be like 14 by now, or 13 probably, because, you know, unless their birthday falls under January or February, then they're probably still 13. So you're saying that it's okay for a 13-year-old to get pregnant, right? I can't even, I don't even know how to begin how stupid that statement is. There's already, there's already so many, you know, there's already a ton of teenage pregnancies today going on. We don't need that number to increase. We don't need any more teenage pregnancies. And they said you can, you can, you can have a baby and still achieve your dreams. Again, more often than not, when a teenage girl gets pregnant, any dreams that she had usually gets put aside for an indefinable amount of time. Again, unless they offer adoption, or maybe, somehow, it could be possible to still pursue your dreams, whether that's to be a doctor, or be a lawyer, or whatever, um, or be a cook, whatever, I, I don't know. But more often than not, that's not really possible, because most teenagers who get who get pregnant and have a kid most of their families aren't stinking rich they can afford you know daycare and all this other crap you know so 
I just don't understand it, you know? I mean, like, no, that's more often than not, no. It's just, it's just, it's just a fact. You, more often than not, when, a te when two teenagers have a kid, they can't achieve, they can't go after their, pursue their goals, you know, achieve their dreams. Because they have to put all their focus on taking care of this baby, on raising this baby. I mean, yes, there are other options, but a lot of the time, it's they're going to go ahead and take care of this baby. And usually that includes either the father or the mother dropping out of high school and getting some sort of job, which, I mean, getting a job is good, but, you know, having to drop out of high school and everything, that's not that good, really. I mean, is it? No offense to anyone who's dropped out of high school. I'm not trying to, you know, but... So, it's going to be a, a wonderful story to tell later on in the future. Oh, yeah, about how you uh, made a huge mistake that kind of screwed up your life. I mean, not trying to be judgmental. I mean, if you did, if you see this video and you did have a baby when you were a teenager, I mean, it's fine. Stuff happens. And I do think that if a teenager girl does have a baby, if two teenagers, you know, if the couple, teenage couple does have a baby, then their family should be supportive I mean, acknowledge that they made a big mistake, but again, be supportive, be, you know, in every, in every way, because that's the only thing that things can turn out good. That's the only, that's the only, that should be the only way to go about things. That's the only, that's the only way things will turn out for the better. So if they get, you know, moral support, you know, men, you know, all types of support. But again, this person is pretty much encouraging, you know, teenagers to get pregnant. And then they said, if, if my sis were to get pregnant, I'd be encouraging, supportive, morally, financially. Oh, so do you, I mean, do you make a lot? I mean, or would you be able to buy the diapers and all that other crap that goes with taking care of a baby? You'd support your sister? I mean, it's good, it's good that you would support your sister, that's good. But you act like you, it would be no, it would be no problem at all. Just, oh yeah, you know, you got, you got pregnant, you had a baby? Oh, no big deal, I'll, I'll, you know, I could take care of it for you, really. Really, I I find that pretty hard to believe, and then it's one of those life dramas. I just don't, I don't understand. It's nothing to be ashamed of. They said it's never, it's it's never a crime to have a baby. Well, yeah, it's not a crime to have a baby. I mean, if you're if you're like a an average, if you're like in your thirties or something, and you're actually in a position to be able to have a baby, then yeah, I mean, but. You know, you're saying it's not a crime to have a baby at, 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 as a teenager at 15 or 16 or whatever. Yeah, it's not a crime to cheat either. But that does that make it okay though? I mean, yeah, it's not a crime. But that doesn't make it okay or right or anything. I just don't know. This th that whole statement was stupid. Um, bottom line, no, it's not okay for teenagers to get pregnant. It shouldn't be encouraged. Um, you know, if it happens, then you know what? Nothing you can do about it. It's it just stuff happens. Like I said, you can't. There's nothing you can do to stop it. You know, just happen, and everyone should be supportive. You know, I, I agree with that. You know, I agree that everyone should be supportive because, like I said, that's the only thing that things will turn out for the better. But teenagers shouldn't be encouraged to get pregnant okay like i said there's already enough of those going on today especially in this culture and in this um society but yeah it just it shouldn't be encouraged it's just it's i thought that comment was so idiotic and had to make a video about it so um yeah i just I, that's really dumb so i don't know i mean I, this i'm sorry this video isn't really the best i'm kind of just rambling but um yeah, I just, I had to make a video on this. I mean, that just comment was so stupid. I don't know how it got over 500 likes. I don't know how people are agreeing with this. But anyways, I'm not trying to be judgmental. I'm really not. I'm really not trying to be judgmental. I know I, I sound really judgmental, but I'm really not trying to be. You know, I get it that these things aren't, it's not like they're purposely done. I'm not saying that if you, oh, you could get pregnant, you should get thrown out in the streets. You know, you should be stoned to death. No, I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. I'm, you know, I'm just saying that it shouldn't be encouraged. You know, it's not okay because most of the time consequent you know these teenagers will have to suffer the consequences you know of having a baby so early on so yeah but anyways that's that's i guess that's about it um you know anyone who watches this video what do you think am i right am i wrong i mean am i am i getting this uh statement am i interpreting the statement all wrong you know let me know what you think um if i'm being too harsh then please let me know but um 
yeah, anyways, that's about it. Um, so, I guess that's part four, I think, for stupid crap on Facebook. I don't know. But anyways, uh, I will talk to you guys later. Peace.